Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. I'm your host Brandon Dunn alongside Coastal Carolina men's basketball coach Cliff Ellis. And coach, coming into the week, crucial week for your basketball team. But you guys rose to the occasion and came away with two big conference wins. Well, there's such a log jam uh, in this conference race. I've never been involved with a race like this. You've got seven teams that are just knocking each other out. And we had Asheville and uh, uh, we had High Point this week and we were able to pull them out. They were tough wins, but I don't know. The, the, these next three weeks are going to be wild. The conference tournament is going to be wild. It's wacky. Uh, but right now you give a lot of credit to our team uh, because they fought hard. They did what they needed to do to win, and these are good wins. You alluded to the conference race during your press conference after the high point win, and through all your years of coaching, you've never seen a conference race like this in the SEC, ACC, or Sun any Belt. conference you've been, Sunbelt? Sunbelt, never been involved with a race where after you've played 12 games, there's seven teams tied. Unbelievable, speaks volumes for the league, speaks volumes for the team. The, the, the sad part is there's going to be a very good team mm -hmm. that is going to be a seven seed. There's going to be a very good team that's going to be a six seed. It's, a, it's unreal. Uh, it's a fan's dream. Yeah. It's a coach's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it makes basketball exciting. Every game's a fight. You started off uh, over on Friday night against High Point, a team you defeated on New Year's Eve up there, and a game you really shot lights out and, and won by double digits. This time around, however, Coach, a little different story. Well, we played the perfect game uh, at High Point. <laughs> the first half of this game is about as ugly as you could play. We, it wasn't very pretty, but I'm going to say that High Point's pressure defense had a lot to do with that, so you got to give them credit. Uh, but the second half, we took care of business, and really rebounding was the difference in us winning the game against High Point. You could tell this game was for first place because it got chippy there uh, midway through this game. Oh. There was a technical call and some pushing and shoving. Did you kind of expect that, or was that kind of something you you didn't see coming? Well, we say calm, calm through chaos, and uh, you got to keep you cool. And uh, you know, when you're fighting like that, tempers flare, and you you know, we got to learn from that. Uh, you know, we we just got to we got to keep our composure. Those led to a couple of baskets for them, and then they would extend it because turnovers were just killing you in the first half. It seemed like every time you went down, you were throwing it away. It looked like street ball out there for a few minutes. First half was ugly. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'll tell people like it is. It was just ugly. But again, I'm going to say that High Point's defense had a lot to do with it, but we made too many mistakes in the first half, and we let our players know about it at halftime. The Shauna Clears would go seven minutes without a bucket, but as Coach just mentioned, the spark plug off the bench was Marcus Freeman. He came in and got a huge three-point play, and before you knew it, it, the, it was a six-point game. Colton Ray hits a three at the four-minute mark, and Coach, you're down seven. Those two guys kept you in the game, at least in the first half. Well, without question, they kept us where we could hang around. I mean, we were, you know, an eight-point game you know, at halftime, and, and uh, you know, we're just not into it. We've got to gather ourselves in the locker room and, and try to fight back. You started the second half with Elijah Wilson hitting a big three. That kind of set the tone for at least the few, first few minutes. But unfortunately, High Point would get back-to-back -back threes. They would answer Elijah's with two there, and uh, they would keep that double-digit lead or actually extend it here uh, as they would just be able to uh, hit a couple threes. Oh, yeah, I think they got the lead up to 12, and we just had to fight back, dig in. And uh, we're going to come back, but it's, it's, a, it's a hard fight. After that, here comes Warren Gillis, a three. He gets that to go, and it drops it to an eight-point game. All of a sudden, it's 42-34, and then Gillis again gets a bucket here to cut it to five with 9.33 to go. Well, we're, we've cut it. We've got that double digit down. Now we know we're in the game, and High Point is feeling our presence coming back. So now the shoe's on the other foot. Now they're starting to get a little antsy. Now they're starting to make a play or two that's not there. So... You know, got to give credit to our team for having the stay in power to stay in this game. Badu hit a couple of free throws that knotted up at 49. And as you alluded to after that throw, you talked about the top 10 ESP and Sports Center uh, dunk by John Brown. And you got to talk about it, Coach, because I've seen a lot of dunks, but well, that one was pretty amazing. You ought to slow that one down and let people just see how good this guy is. And this is just a testimony of our league. But that is a highlight dunk. That's posterized 
It was definitely that, Coach. That put High Point up five, 54-49, but Elijah finding his groove again with a three-point shooting just stopped the bleeding there as that would cut to four with three minutes to go because he was able to hit that big three. Well, that was a big bucket. I didn't think he was going to take it to start with. He's wide open, but he knocked it down, and that was big. Warren Gillis stepped in front of a pass, came up with a huge big. steal, got a dunk. Uh -huh. Oh, man, that got this crowd going, and, and then you could feel it that you guys were on the verge of getting this win. Well, and the fans had a lot to do with it. I thought the energy of, of the fans, you know, we really got in that game. The last four minutes of the game, there was a lot of energy in this crowd. Uh, so it was a great team effort, great fan effort. It was a, All of us can be proud of this. Down the stretch, Deshaunna Clears hitting some free throws, and that's really been their M.O. all year. It's been kind of uh, accustomed to seeing these guys hit their free throws, and everybody chipped in, and Coach, in the end, those free throws ended up giving you the win. And big rebounds, big rebounds down the stretch. Free throws, making free throws, and then getting those big rebounds down the stretch, huge. Coastal Carolina goes on to win their second consecutive 65-60. They beat High Point for the second time this season. And as Coach just alluded to, rebounding was the story. And Coach talked about it during his press conference. And you talked about it a lot, saying, hey, you know what? That's what won the game for us. Well, there's no doubt about that. When you got a 20-plus rebounding margin, that's, that's a chance at 40 points. You win by five. No matter how ugly the first half is, you're getting extra possessions. And that's how we win this game. And the players talked about the win as well after this victory over High Point. It's, a, it's good to get a win because you, you don't know what to expect any night. And uh, every night is going to be a dog fight. And you see it with seven teams. I've I never seen a conference like this. But um, it's going it's to be a dog fight every game. And you got to bring it every night. The HTC peak performer for this victory over High Point was Warren Gillis with 17 points. But coach, it was the steal that really stole the show for him. Big reason why you were victorious on this Friday night. Well, it was a big play, and he made big plays down the stretch, hit free throws, and he was our leader. Not only that, I thought he made a great pass uh, against their press you know, for Elijah to go down and, and get fouled. Uh, so he, he made a lot of big plays. Uh, you know, I could, it, it, first half, it wasn't the real Warren Gillis, but the second half, that's the Warren Gillis that we, we're accustomed to. Uh, he deserves the player of the game. Warren Gillis, one of several highly profiled guards on this team. Elijah Wilson, the sophomore, coming into his own this year. Coach, what can you say about the way he's played and, and what he's done from year one to year two? Well, he's, he's knocking, he knocked down some big shots, but his defense is so much better. Uh, you know, that, that's the thing that I'm pleased with is how much better he's become defensively. And Mark Haggard has a feature on Elijah Wilson and what he's meant to the Shauna Claire program this season. His father put a basketball in his hands at the age of four. Now, Elijah Wilson has become one of the elite guards in the Big South Conference. Yeah, I learned to stop, stop setting up for jump shots more and just try to do, do other little things like go to the baskets and get a couple assists and stuff here and there. And that, that, um, that helps you get into a groove when you see the ball go to the basket besides just taking a jump shot because that's hard to do every single game. Wilson has started nearly every game this season. He is averaging around 10 points a game and has the least amount of turnovers among CCU's top four guards. Now that I see him, he, he's starting to go to the basket a little bit more, starting to go stronger, and um, that's really opening up the game for him. So when he gets to the basket and, and gets the strong moves, it opens up his, his pull-up jump shot, which is, which is pretty deadly. So he's been playing well. Last season, Wilson was the 12th leading scorer in the country among freshmen. This year, he's averaging fewer points, but making a bigger overall impact as a team player. Coach Ellis says he is pleased with the progress of his 6'4 sophomore out of Wilmington, North Carolina. There's nobody on our team puts more, gets more shots up outside of practice than this guy. You have to tell him to leave the gym. You have to tell him you worry about whether he's going to do too much. So you know that he's going he's, he's gonna to put everything that he's got into it. He's still learning the game. He's still learning the game. It's when to, when not to, and those kind of things. But, you know, the shot hasn't always gone for him, but he, we, he stayed the course. Coming up next on the Cliff Ellis Show, Coach will break down the game against UNC Asheville at the HTC Center earlier this week. Those highlights and much more coming up next right here on the Cliff Ellis Show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by a &I Fire and Water Restoration. Strand Orthopedic is a proud supporter of Coastal Carolina Athletics. 
Strand Orthopedic provides the best care from simple sprains to the most complex spinal or sports related injuries. It is our mission to get patients back to life and back in the game and help them resume normal activities in the safest and shortest amount of time. Get in the game with Strand Orthopedic. At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted Roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed, but are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a Health Hero today. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. A community our employees are proud to support in every way from coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Southwind Engineering. Welcome back here to the Cliff Ellis Show. Another big win for this Coastal Carolina basketball team earlier in the week as you took on UNC Asheville. Kind of a, I wouldn't say a revenge game, but definitely a game that you guys wanted to get considering uh, the performance you saw against them earlier in, yeah. the, uh, in, the, in the season. Well, they played the, the first game. They just played their A game. We didn't bring our A game, and they took it to us, which teams will do. And uh, it was a big game. This was a big week. If we're going to be in the race, we have to have these games. It's like the conference tournament. We're playing for our lives, and we had to play for our lives to win just to be where we are today. And, you know, we got three more weeks, and we can't let up on the throttle. But there's there's six other teams not letting up on the throttle either. And then there's three other teams that are going to try to make you miserable trying to win this race. So interesting scenario. Let's go back to Tuesday night. Another big and exciting crowd here at the HTC Center for this ball game. And Coach, uh, UNC Asheville, they kind of started off where they left off against you guys a couple of weeks ago, hitting some big buckets there and taking a big early lead. Well, I tell you what, anytime you got those perimeter players that can knock down shots and then you got Zeely inside, he didn't even play in the first game. But this guy was just a, he, he was a man inside. I, you know, they've made a lot of things happen inside and outside in the first half. And it's a dog fight in the first half. They, they jump out get a good lead, but we just keep hanging around and, and you know, just try to get to the locker room and, 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 and make some adjustments. Well, you're down 11-6, to six, but Elijah Wilson connects with a three, which he's been doing a lot lately, and all of a sudden it's a two-point game, and uh, you know what? You're right back into it. Josh Cameron ties it up at 11, and here we go. We got ourselves a game. Well, it's a ball game uh, throughout the stretch, and, uh, I mean, what a first half. We're just we're trying to hang on. I thought Josh Cameron really gave us a spark off the bench. I thought he was a big, big factor in this game. And, uh, you know, he, he took it to hold in the second half and he made some things happen. You talked about Josh here. He did have some big buckets down the stretch here in the first half as you guys would be knotted up at uh, 27 apiece going into the break. And as I mentioned, just not a lot of points, but uh, it was a game. It was a game. It's tied up, going at halftime. It's right where it started. These next 20 minutes are going to make a break. and. You know, I thought in this next 20 minutes, kind of like the uh, Winthrop game, we just made it happen and uh, got a lead, and we were able to really have a comfortable win in the end. Again, Marcus Freeman doing yes. what he's done, too. He was big in this game as well. He gets a layup here, and all of a sudden, Coach, you're up 37-29. You've got a little bit of a cushion there. Well, they're not going to go away, but it's nice to have this lead. Now, we've taken a hold of the first five minutes and moving forward. Now we just got to sustain it. Freeman comes right back, Coach, and uh, gets another lay in there. And, and before you know it, now it's a double-digit lead. And as you always say, when you get to double digits, it's hard to come back. 
Well, it's hard to come back, uh, but it, it's, it's not impossible, as we saw with our game against High Point. Uh, it's just a matter of, of, of playing one possession at a time, sustaining and keeping that defense going. Badu Jane with a jumper and coaches 44-29 at that point and things were looking good. You were able to sustain it offensively. You really never let Asheville right. back in the game at that point. Well, from that point on, when we got the double digit lead, we pretty much controlled it the rest of the way. And you got to give our guys credit. You know, both guys that were in the game, guys coming off the bench, uh, you know, they did a great job. I thought Josh and, and uh, Marcus did a good job for us. I thought Colton again was, was, was very good coming off the bench. And, uh, so very proud of those guys. It seemed like this game was probably the first game I've seen you play in quite a while where the, the half was good. I mean, you played a solid yes, half well. in the second half. Everything was kind of clicking, and, and you were up double digits, and you just extended that with some good shooting. Second half was beautiful, beautiful basketball. And the Shawna Clears, they go on to win this one 68-56 as they were able to get back into the win column and uh, get that first W of the week and concluded it with a big win on Friday. And, Coach, uh, just a, another outstanding game, and it seems like you guys were getting back to playing Shawna Clare basketball that we've become accustomed to seeing you guys play. Well, it's just not easy every night out. I mean, people are going to make you earn it, and it, it's crazy. But uh, uh, we're like everybody else. We're just fighting like heck to try to maintain and sustain this wacky race and stay at the top. The HTC peak performer for the win over UNC Asheville was Tristan Curtis with a double-double coach, 10 points, 10 boards in 28 minutes of action, and uh, just doing what he's been doing all year just seems to be building on that every game. Well, you could give it to a lot of people. You know, uh, Josh certainly would be a candidate for that. But anytime you get a double-double, uh, that's workmanship, and uh, you got to give him credit. Coming up next, it's time for Sean's Corner as Coach Ellis sits down with Michelle Anaga. That's next, right here on The Cliff Ellis Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. Southwind Engineering is a fast-growing architecture, engineering, consulting, and construction services organization. The principals at Southwind have a long-standing history of client focus, quality design, and technological innovation. Whether you are building your new dream home or your next major project, Call the professionals at Southwind Engineering today to guide you through the process from start to finish. So totally free checking is completely free? Yes, sir. Right. Next you'll tell me there's free online banking. Actually, there is. Free online bill pay? Mm-hmm. No way I can get a free quick card, debit card, the instant I open an account. Check. Yeah, check. Like free first order of checks? All included. What? And a free gift? And a free gift. Come in today and sign up for Crestcom's totally free checking. Stop by any of our convenient locations. I'm on candid camera, right? Another trial, another battle. Where's your strength? Tenacity. What's your history? Fighting for my clients in court. But what sustains me now is working with three of the finest individuals I've ever known. My family. There's power in family power for our clients. Fighting for your rights is my family's business. Britain Law. Born to fight, bred to win. Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. Buckham on Land and Timber has been serving the Grand Strand since 1982. The ultimate goal of Buckham on Land and Timber is the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt, or fish, the professionals at Buckham on Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Buckham on Land and Timber. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the nightly specials and how much they enjoy the live music. But when you experience that incredible waterfront view, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. The Cliff Ellow Show is brought to you by Burroughs and Chapin. We're here today on Shots Corner with Michelle Ananga from Cameroon and Africa. He's a, what a great young man this guy is. He's 
He's so versatile. He is a, a guy in basketball that can play inside and outside. He plays with passion. He brings to the game every bit of, of passion that you want uh, with the game, whether it be defensively, uh, dribbling the ball, passing the ball, shooting the ball. In the classroom, very proud of him for what I do. Tell everybody what you're majoring in. Uh, I'm majoring in computer science and minoring in math. And he does a great job. He does a great job. We're very proud of him for what he's doing, and we're proud of him for what to do. Tell us a little bit about Cameroon. For people uh, that uh, don't know a lot about Cameroon, tell us about your country. Cameroon is, I would say, the only country in Africa that is really uh, a melting pot. You can find everything you find everywhere else in Africa in Cameroon. As far as races, I mean, uh, people, demographic, like um, uh, weather. Cameroon is really is a good place to live. In. I really, I really miss it. It's been three years right now. So. Well, I know you're excited, and you're here to do two things. One, I know you want to play basketball, advance your skills, and play at another level, which you will be able to have an opportunity to do. Plus, you're here to get an education, most important thing. So, I'm going to ask you what I ask Badu. Um, 20 years from now, when basketball is all said and done, what do you want to be doing with your life? 20 years from now, I will say I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I will be successful. I will get a family. I will find, either I don't find a job, I will find a job, either basketball or my major going to help me because I really believe it's going to bring me somewhere. And I will be settled down. And I will look back at it and be, I did something with my life. There you go. Making a difference in people's life. That's what you want to do. Favorite music? Favorite musician? Favorite song? Favorite song? I, uh, as of right now, I don't really know. I've, it's, it's been a quite a bit. I haven't really explored, but I would say it's back. Uh, it's African music, and right now I'm, I have that song. It's always in my mind. Well, give us a song. Give us an African song. We don't hear it much, so give us a little bit. Let's, let's test <laughs> your skills out. You've never been bashful when we're on the bus or when we're on a plane, so don't be bashful now. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I just, okay. I don't know, I don't know those, those words, but I would say, um, I, would, I would sing that French song. It's a French song, actually, it's from France, and it's na the name is Good God is a Woman. In the French, say the bon Dieu est une femme, and it goes like. <coughs> <coughs> My wife would like that, uh. saying that God is a woman. She she would love that. She gonna love this. So I would say in French, and I would try to translate in English. It says, "La terre saigne depuis la nuit des temps." Depuis uh oh I forgot oh I forgot. But it's like if you want to say a uh, sin a while ago. The, the earth was created and everything's going right. People be suffering, but the people who bring us here are women. Women be struggling, there's always women behind someone, so we believe God is a woman. I think that's what the song is all about, and bah, I forgot how to say it. Deep, 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 deep. And everything on my mom, so. Well, I understand that. We're very blessed to have Michelle Ananga from Cameroon on Shant's Corner. Coming up next on the Cliff Ellis Show, Coach and I will discuss the week ahead as the Shauna Clares continue on in Big South Conference play. That's coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Crestcom Bank. Southwind Engineering is a fast-growing architecture, engineering, consulting, and construction services organization. The principals at Southwind have a long-standing history of client focus, quality design, and technological innovation. Whether you are building your new dream home or your next major project, call the professionals at Southwind Engineering today to guide you through the process from start to finish. Strand Orthopedic is a proud supporter of Coastal Carolina Athletics. Strand Orthopedic provides the best care from simple sprains to the most complex spinal or sports related injuries. It is our mission to get patients back to life and back in the game and help them resume normal activities in the safest and shortest amount of time. Get in the game with Strand Orthopedic. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. 
They rave about the nightly specials and how much they enjoy the live music. But when you experience that incredible waterfront view, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed, but are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a health hero today. Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by the Britain Law Firm. Welcome back here to the Cliff Ellis Show. Coach, another big week ahead. It doesn't get any easier. Uh, you've been alluding to that, saying that all uh, all season long. But you've got Charleston Southern on the docket Wednesday. You go down to beautiful Charleston to take on that team, a team that you've already defeated here uh, earlier in the season. But it's a, always a different beast when you're on the road. Well, it's a tough place to play. Uh, you know, they call them cracker boxes. They're very. That's a tough out. We've got to play our best. After that, you come home. You take on Liberty despite their record. And despite what you did to them earlier in the season, uh, it's going to be another uh, another war because that's what it is in the Big South. Well, Liberty's the type of team that can spoil you. I mean, they're they're they're, they're a team just looking to try to make it miserable for somebody else. It's going to be yet another exciting week for Shauna Claire's basketball as they got two on the docket coming up. Of course, we'll return next Sunday right here for the Cliff Ellis Show. So until then, have a great one. We'll see you next Sunday right here on News Channel 15. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by the Britain Law Firm. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. A community our employees are proud to support in every way. From coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted Roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. It's time to get your fun on at Broadway at the Beach. Specializing in one-of-a-kind shopping, shoppers will find treasures of every kind, from unique gift shops you won't find anywhere else to nationally recognized names. And while shopping, don't forget to refuel at one of more than 20 mouth-watering restaurants and eateries, where you can choose from the all-American hamburger and milkshake to fajitas and sushi. Broadway is also home to spectacular attractions and live entertainment. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. Another trial, another battle. Where's your strength? Tenacity. What's your history? Fighting for my clients in court. But what sustains me now is working with three of the finest individuals I've ever known. My family. There's power in family. Power for our clients. Fighting for your rights is my family's business. Britain Law. Born to fight, bred to win. Buckham on Land and Timber has been serving the Grand Strand since 1982. The ultimate goal of Waccamaw on Land and Timber is the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt, or fish, the professionals at Waccamaw on Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw on Land and Timber. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Creek Rats. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Strand Orthopedic. 